up everybody welcome back to holding on in the road mr gray fox big bad harold been a long while since y'all heard from us you know uh i think we done went through like a whole school semester uh since we made a video yeah it's been a you know? minute uh life life happened you know what i mean uh i got a young son uh a man you know got a young daughter and uh you know life just happened you know and a lot done happened in the time that we uh that we done a video or whatever but this dude uh this situation that happened down here i think it was in uh naples carl puken you know what i mean and uh i just wanted to touch on that man i mean it's so much that I can say about it. And, and we tried to share the video, uh, but we both done seen the video. It's, it's really disturbing. This dude, this uh, this white guy talking to this, uh, you know, black girl, talking about he'll break a jaw, threatening her, and all kinds of stuff like this right here. And uh, to me, it's one of those situations where, man, you know, it's, it's, it's a few takes that I have on it, but it's one of those situations like, okay, this might be one of those ones where you just might have to push all your chips to the middle of the table, bro. You know, uh, that really just, just really, really bothered me, man. Uh, you know, I, I, I just, I, I, I couldn't have took it, you know, it, it would have got real ugly real quick. And another thing is, this is your Second Amendment gun owner type of person <laughs> yeah. that you will encounter. The way if you ain't got no fire, you're gonna be in trouble because he gonna, you know, he can use that stand his ground and all the other good stuff. And uh, you know, it could end very, very, very badly for you. So it's one of those situations where you really gotta think. Uh, about how you're going to handle this situation as a man. That was one take. The other thing is just where is all of the, the real ones at? They claim that they so real. See, because if we was down there and we, you know, hey, we dealing with folks that look just like us. Mm -hmm. You know, we could be in the wrong neighborhood with people that look like us. Uh, anything. We could get jacked because of the car we driving, a set that you claim. But when you see people like this, where they at? Yeah. I quit. We'd be aggressive on each other, but we don't be aggressive on other people. Yeah. See, because what need to be said about this situation can't really be said on social media. True. You get what I'm saying? You can't you, you can't say what need to be said, but what's understood shouldn't even have to be explained. It just has to happen. Yeah. But yeah, see, we that. understand completely what could happen to us if we were in that situation. You understand what I'm saying, man? If we was in that situation, oh, we know how to handle each other. But when it comes to situations like that, where they at? Yeah. yeah. That's true. You know, uh, the brother that came up, you know, uh, I looked at what that brother had on, them damn uh, shorts <laughs> he had on. I was like, uh, <laughs> You knew um, he went for the safety. Yeah, he man, you know what I'm saying? Man. You know, it, he, he ain't, he, you know, it, it ain't finna be too much going on with him. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's when you really wish you know the so-called Pookies and Ray Rays, well, you know, you would have, you know, showed up and handled that business yeah. like that. And, mo I mean? and and mostly, I agree with you saying somebody, a male, a male to be there to be more of an aggressor. Because sometimes you need that that kind of foolish person to do that because that guy kept walking into this female's face like he uh -huh. he known for beating women. That's how uh -huh. that's how he walked up on her like, hey man, you know I do this. You know you you say one more thing, I pump my hands on you, but. I give her her props for staying her ground, not acting foolish. She was still talking as professional as possible. She was upset, rightfully upset. 
You know, she had her mates on her, it was good. I just didn't like, after she got her point across, I feel like she should have walked away. Because like you said, you never know what them type of people could do. You don't have a male that'll defend you. Not that a woman always need one, but this fool obviously don't care if you're a female because he walked up on each other. You know what I'm saying? So if she had her, you know, cousin, brother, and like you said, the young man that walked up, but um, not only when he he walked up, he didn't walk up like, you know, he was really there to defend her. He walked up like, oh, um, what's really going on? I want to get the whole story. No, you can see that this guy is re really too aggressive with, you know, your, your friend here. Hey, hey, you and the kids, y'all back up. Even if you want to record, get back down because uh, let, let me get some understanding with him right now. Let me tighten him up. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And whether they needed to get physical or not, whatever. Yeah. But he needed yeah. to say what he needed to say to that man. You do not walk up on no woman like that. Yeah. Man. yeah. Whatever y'all had going on, you know, yeah. your kid bumped this kid or whatever. But you just walked in this woman's face and told you to break her jaw, man. Break my jaw. Oh, you know oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know if you want to do something, break mine. See, because you know I mean? for me, it would have been, hey, y'all need to turn them phones off. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Y'all need to turn them phones off. We yeah. done, we done seen enough of this, you know. Yeah. Uh and then we could have went from there, how, yeah. however it wanted to go, you know. But like I say, man, I mean, another thing is when they talk about the Second Amendment, mm -hmm. we don't need to look at that as a negative. True. We need to take advantage of that. Yeah. We need more people, more responsible people with that concealed carry. You do. You do. You get what I'm saying? You do. Because to me, the sister was saying a little bit too much. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? She was saying a yeah. little bit too much. Yeah. Speak your peace. And leave it alone. St no, stand your ground. Uh -huh. And if you got that fire. Yeah. You understand yeah, what I'm you saying? You got it on you, call the police. You know, we'll, we'll, keep see, we'll, yeah. we'll see you in court because yeah, yeah. this guy was clearly, you know, in a threatening position. Yeah, he was. Know? And if it would have been, he put his hands on her. Oh yeah, now you got a freebie right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? You got a freebie right there. Yeah. So, again, it's, it's just so much that you could take away from a situation like this. Like I say, man, that second, second amendment is just not for them. You can take advantage of this, this opportunity, too, yeah. for situations just like that. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So you don't have to be, you know, it, it can be like, hey, look, I done said my piece. You need to get out of my face, so on and so forth. Yeah, That's yeah, it. yeah. You know? Uh, and, and another way, like I say, if a, if a man was to come up there and see, now you're a coward because you know I got it on me too. So exactly. you pull, you, it, it'll be, you know what I'm saying, quick draw McGraw out here. Yeah, you understand yeah. what I'm saying? Whoever can get to it first, and it, it'll be a good old fashioned uh, Western style, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying, situation out here. You know, but you out here with your kids, and let me tell you something. Let me tell you how much of a coward this dude is. It's another video out there of him in a movie theater. Where he just run up on this and kid. choke the young kid, yeah, 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 yeah understand yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, but but hang on yeah. the thing, you got a kid in your arm while you're doing it. Yeah. Now how? Mm. It, even if I wanted to swing on you, you got a you got a child in your arm, basically using you, the, the, a child as a shield. Yeah, I'm not doing that. Yeah, absolute I'm not doing that. Yeah. coward of a person, yeah. man. Yeah. Absolute coward of a person. Yeah. But I, I go back to. You know, we how we handle each other and how we deal with each other. You know, uh it's just it's it's sad <laughs> how we handle each other, but then when it comes down to okay, protecting one another, it's like we ain't got a clue unless the other person looked like us. Yeah, in the last about 20, 30 years, yeah, we didn't lost that. It ain't, it ain't the family I mean, like we need to be. It ain't know, like that no more. And, and you think about the situation it is just for, you know, uh, just for us and the way we deal with one another. When we encounter them, it's like a boss battle at the end of a stage. Okay, mm -hmm. how, how I'm going to handle this situation because I know how to handle, you know, these guys here. You yeah, know, yeah, yeah. We, we take care of them. But this person right here, you know, you got to think about your next move being before strategic. you handle this. Yeah, yeah, yeah you got to be a little bit more strategic. And yeah. you know what I mean? You got to be by the book. Why? Because they got everything set up, you know, for them to get off. Yeah. And you have to be, I mean, man, you got to walk a fine line 
in order for you to get on. And I think that is in a lot of people's head why they don't be more aggressive. But I would say if you're able to get some understanding and they not doing it, now he was being real hostile. See, he would deserve any negative energy anybody would have gave him. But say it's just a basic situation, basic misunderstanding. If it was me and you, you know, we might kill each other. But like mm -hmm. you said, if it was somebody with another nationality, eh, we'll kind of be calm. Oh yeah. But we yeah. need to we need to figure out how to balance that scale. And you know, like we've been saying for the longest, let's start getting more people that look like us minorities to understand our situation, to get into the police force, to get Amen. into being judges, you know, to get into the Senate, just everything. So we Amen. can get some yeah. paperwork to yeah. help support yeah. what we our mindset yeah. we trying to build. You know? Right, right. Because he, 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 he ain't got no fear. No. He no ain't fear. got no fear of no the legal fear. system. He ain't got no fear of the no. police. He ain't got no fear of nothing. nothing. Meanwhile, nothing. as a black man coming up there to defend, you know, his sister, cousin, or whoever. You, you got something to live for. You got something hey, to live for. Yeah. You terrified. Yeah. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? I might saying? lose I mean, everything. I, 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 I'm about to lose everything. Yeah. 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 You know, the person that I'm finna have to uh, come and represent me probably gonna look like one of them. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's true. This this guy talking about call the police, he probably know who's finna come yeah. out there. He probably know who patrolling that area. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? See, we don't have that. No. But when it comes to strategic, like you said, strategically putting people in, in positions to where, hey, look here, man, you know, this is protection. Yeah. You know what I mean? So when situations like this happen, oh, no, 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 bro. You know what I mean? If you wrong, you wrong. You don't know who finna show up out here. Yeah. As a matter of fact, let me tell you something. This, this is a true story. I had a situation to where I had to call the cops myself. Two brothers showed up and uh, after everything got done, I thanked them brothers. I said, you know what, man? I, I'm, I'm, I'm glad that y'all guys showed up. You know what I mean? It made me feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Somebody that looked like me and they just wouldn't take their side. True, true. Just because. Yeah. And I thank the man. I say, you know what I mean, man? I, I, you know, we need more people. We need more people in situations like that. Yeah. We don't need to be around here demonizing police. We need more people. We need more representation yeah. Yeah. of, you know, us on the police force. Yeah. We just we don't need to we, be doing all that. We need stuff. understandable human beings, period. Mm -hmm. You know, but more of <laughs> us will be like me and you to talk about it many times. If that black neighborhood is so aggressive, and mm -hmm. most of your Caucasian cops or whoever is scared to go in that neighborhood. They always mm -hmm. rapidly abusing people, you know, pulling their gun. They nervous. Oh, yeah. Okay, look, we got a fleet of black cops that are used mm -hmm. to being in those type of situations. You're mm -hmm. going to patrol this area. Since mm -hmm. you can't handle yourself, you're going to go over here. But mm -hmm. if I have another situation, you're fine. And you mm -hmm. need you need to get people with understanding like that. A cop is supposed to serve and protect. You got you literally have a license to kill if you need to. Mm -hmm. What are yeah. you scared of? Yeah. What are you scared of, man? Yeah. We know it's yeah. a lot of situations that cops get into. We understand that, mm -hmm. you know, but a, a cop walking up to a situation like that need to be neutral minded. And for mm -hmm. one, a male cop should be more on that female side until he understands the story. Because yeah. you got a big old man walking up on this woman. Mm -hmm. what, 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 hey, man, what you got going on, man? Back up, sir. You know, mm -hmm. let me get some understanding from both of y'all. You know, that, yeah. we just we just need a more level playing field for everybody. He could be having coffee with the police chief and you know what I'm saying? Some new officers, some new deputies, know them all. Yeah. You know what I mean? Know. They could uh, be in some type of gun club or yeah. play golf or some job like hunt that. Together. You know what I mean? you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. hunt together. You know, hey man, I've been knowing these guys for years. You know, you ain't finna call nobody around here. These people feel invincible. Yeah. You know what I mean? These people feel invincible. They, 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 that walk up and put themselves in situations like that. Yeah, oh, you yeah. know they feel invincible, man. You know, hey, you the know, way he was call talking a girl, to call the girl, call an animal. Yeah, yeah come you know on, what I mean? Call yeah, an animal on, and and talking about uh, you know, do you want me to come on your face? You yeah, yeah. Saying? He Stuff. was being childish too. I'm like, this boy here is crazy. That's what I'm saying. You know, you you go, y'all gonna have to turn these cameras off. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You understand? Yeah. Now what? Yeah. Now what? Yeah. You know, everybody gone. Now what? And, and, like and, said, and if Pookie was there, like we know some wild guys, if he was there, now is a man. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. You know, yeah. don't do this around the yeah. kids, man. You talking yeah. all crazy in front yeah. of your kids and her kids. You yeah. don't care. Yeah. And see, like I said, if it's even Steven, oh yeah, you got yours and I got mine. Now that cow is gonna come out of you. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? Now that cow is gonna come out That's of true. you, and now you gonna want to speak with Pete. Yeah. You know what I mean? But uh, that guy's an absolute coward, man.
the Second Amendment talk. We need to take advantage of it. We don't need to be on the side of, hey, man, you know, we need to get all rid of this. No, 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 no. You go get you one. Yeah. yeah. You go get you one. You go get you a concealed carry license. You know what I mean? And a lot of this foolishness will stop. Oh, yeah. Start, you know what I'm saying? Supporting people to get in these positions. Learn how to shoot your gun. You know, be, be a calm mind. Make sure your mind is collected so you can, when you're in those situations, understand how to act when you have a gun. We don't just need wild fools, you know, but be able to protect you and your family. You know, mm -hmm. that woman needed to be able to have a gun to protect her just in case he did try to break her job. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Because you know? it yeah. is some fools that And, and like I say, like I say, if she would have had it on her and he punched her, unload. Yep. I'm talking about full clip. Yep. Put the whole clip up in there. Yeah, you protect yourself. Yeah, make, you have to make, protect make, yourself. Hey, make sure it's, it's all over. And like I say, man, I don't know if we post this or what we talking about, <laughs> you know what I mean? But what's understood don't need to be explained. Yeah, yeah. You get what I'm saying? Uh, but every American got the right to defend themselves, just yeah, like everybody yeah, else. Yeah, 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 I mean, it, 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 but it's, it's, it, it's, that was a tough video to watch, man. I mean, I didn't, it's been a lot of stuff going on here lately, but that one, man, that got me. That, yeah. that, 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 and, to, that, and to me, to all the women that that you know did see that video, watch how she conducted herself. She did stand her ground. I just only wish after she got her peace back away because you don't know what a fool might do, yeah. and that's in any situation. Yeah, yeah, you know, yes, uh, yes. that's so in you, any situation. Walk away. Yeah, I'd like to say this for all sisters out there and brothers. You know what I mean? Get on the right side of this Second Amendment conversation. Go get you, go take advantage of that. See, cause this sister right here, she needed something on it. Yes, she did. Yes. She because did. if 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 nobody else would have been around, who knows what would have happened. Yeah, true. So, like I say, just get on the right side of this Second Amendment thing. Everything that they throw at us that they want us to support really ain't doing us no favor. You know, be responsible. Yeah. Be responsible with it. Learn how to use it. But Let's get on the right side of this Second Amendment conversation, cause just getting, just doing away with, they still gonna have it. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They still gonna have it. You need yours. You understand what I'm saying? You need to have yours. Oh yeah. That's all I got, bro. Yeah, that's 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 the best thing we can say. Everybody need to understand that amendment. Understand where you stand. If your record is clean, get what you need to protect your family. Understand how to use it. That's yeah. the best thing to do, man. Practice, practice with it. You yep. understand what I'm saying? All this, you know. Hey, you want to go on a date? You want to do something? You know. Hey, let's go to the range. Yeah, yeah. Let's you know? go to the range. You know what I mean? And when they start seeing, hey, look here, man, it, what's what's going on here, man? Mm -hmm. You know, I used to see one or two of my here. Now, you know, we booked up. Yep. You know. Yep. So hey, look here, man. You know, hey. You got yours, I got mine. Yep. It is what it is. You understand what I'm saying? And, and if you want to take it back, you want to turn it back to the wild, wild west, it'll be the wild, wild west. It is what it is. You know what I mean? So, you know, I, I think that's just something that we need to get into because we are so vulnerable, man. Yeah. You know what I mean? And and they know it. Yeah. You know? I'm going to tell you something else about that, uh, about that video, too. He said that he was trying to protect someone else's son. And then the lady came over there, like a Hispanic lady came over there and was talking to him, you know, and she should have understood where the sister was coming from. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? She was talking about, well, I don't know about that or whatever. No, 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 no. You know that this big dude is in her face and he wrong. Yeah. And you should if if he talking about he was protecting somebody else's child, you should have stepped up and said something to defend yeah. You yeah. come over there trying to get some understanding about why he did what he did. But no, this dude, this dude still in her face threatening her. Yeah. Saying that it's on your behalf. When you could have said, you know, sir, I don't need you to do that. Yeah. Yeah. You, you get what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So, you know, that's like uh, Dr. John Henry Clark said, he ain't got no friends. Mm -hmm. He ain't got no friends. So, like I say, get on the right side of that Second Amendment conversation. Think about it. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? And 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 uh, protect yourself. Got gotcha. you. Oh, yeah. Y'all live right? Play fair. High letters. <laughs>